Hello, my loves. Welcome, welcome, welcome. So glad to have you here with me, Aries. We are going to, going to just do a general reading for you today to see what's going on for you today, what you need to know, all that good stuff. I hope you guys are doing well. Okay. If this is your message, don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel, join the family. Let's see what we get for you today. Spirit, what messages do you have for Aries, please? Okie smoky coming out with the strength card, Leo energy. You also have the six of pentacles, the ten of cups. Beautiful. Hmm. Um, and the sun card. Okay, even more Leo energy. Some of you might be dealing with a Leo. For someone here, I've, I feel a sense of a relationship renewal, um, whether you're in a relationship already or um, getting back with someone or getting with someone new. Uh, that energy is here thus far. You have the Queen of Pentacles in the overall energy. Okay, this is Feminine Earth, Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn. With the hermit, yeah, Virgo's here strongly, okay? Hmm, yeah, I, I, I feel like someone is, is um, it's like you're, you're becoming more straightforward, okay? And um, you've decided to renew your relationship. Some of you, it might even be a renewal of vows um, here. Let's see. Like a very um, happy, healthy, um, equally reciprocal connection, okay? the sun card for you and see what's going on there. Nine of cups. Yeah. Wow. Queen of cups. And the Nine of Swords, and the Empress is at the bottom of the deck, okay? This could also be referencing um, a pregnancy of some sort, especially with the Empress and the Queen of Cups um, and the Sun card even. But I see mutual love here, okay? The Queen of Cups represents that mutual love, um, and there you are feeling content. You have the Nine of Cups and you have the Ten of Cups. I really feel like you've transitioned, okay? For some of you, you might have left an old relationship or left the old ways of your relationship and moved forward um, into something happier and healthier, I feel, okay? Yeah, it seems like there was some some um, some sort of difficulty that that has since been cleared out. Whether stress, anxiety, um, overthinking, okay, about something here. Let's go on and see what else we can get for you. Let's clarify the Ten of Cups. What's this Ten of Cups, please, for Aries? This is Ten of Cups, please. Eight 
Ace of Swords, right, the Moon, and the um, High Priestess, like I said, with the Ace of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck, okay, and the Ace of Cups, for some of you, this might be, um, this could very well have to do with um, a new opportunity of some sort, I really uh, um, strongly is coming through that it could be a house or a car, okay, something of that, of that sort, but I feel like you um, are feeling more content, more stable, more more put together. But this is coming after some sort of clarity, after after something um, was revealed, whether that's a person who revealed all the emotions that they have for you um, or vice versa. You could have revealed those emotions for someone else, but um, it, there was a big reveal here, okay, that, that led to or will lead to this Ten of Cups for you. Okay. It allowed you to see things more clearly and go after what it is that you wanted or for this person to go after you. Let's look at this Queen of Pentacles. Let's see what she's talking about up there. Is this Queen of Pentacles, please? A lot of Pisces energy on the board as well. Some of you might be dealing with a Pisces or have that energy in your chart. Okay, Queen of Pentacles. We have the Page of Cups, the Hangman, lots and lots of Pisces energy, and the Eight of Pentacles. Yeah, for some of you, this this could have been, um, like I said, like a renewal of your relationship or a literally a renewal of vows. Someone came forward here. Um, and express their love for you, express um, um, how they don't, they don't want to wait anymore, okay, they've been enlightened, you, you are it, and they want to work um, together with you um, toward a commitment, but again, I feel like this is after something else ended, okay, you also have the five of pentacles and the death card, there was an ending here, there, there was a separation of some sort, um, could be with this person, could have been a divorce, um, and now you're in a new connection or reviving that connection with your um, partner, okay, For others of you, this could be a business opportunity, a, a, a job that you're going for, a dream job of sorts, okay, that you're no longer being um, hesitant about, that you're no longer um, um, speaking negatively about, but instead working hard towards that thing. But I see it here in the cards for you. Let's get your overall message. message here for Aries. Five of wands, six of pentacles, and a four of wands. Yeah, again, in the nine of wands, it's at the bottom of the deck. So the four of wands here, for those of you that this has to do with a relationship or a marriage, that's 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 here strongly, okay? The renewal of such after um, difficulties, after figuring, after having to figure out um, how to get to the next phase or how to renew your love, okay, for each other. Um, but you figured it out, okay? You were able to figure out how to renew that love, how to make it reciprocal, how to um, have a mutual love um, with this person, okay? And again, for others of you, if this has to do with a job or um, uh, um, something of that nature, 
there's a celebration here, okay? The, the, there's something to celebrate after going through difficulty, which is what we do. After going through difficulty, there's something here to celebrate um, and possibly an increase in income, okay? So, Aries, if this is your message, please, please, please don't forget to like the video, share the love, and subscribe to the channel. Thank you.